Bev's going to be holding a drop bear. She's got the drop bear suit on. How are you feeling? Well, at the moment, okay, because there's nothing near me, but it is a bit like a Batman suit. So I'm a bit worried about why I need this level of protection. Okay. Um, they do, do go for the legs. Okay. Sorry. So drop bears are a close cousin of the koala, but they're actually really vicious. So it's, it's sort of like a, a dingo and a, and a normal domestic dog. Um, they're bigger, they've got longer claws. Um, they've actually got really small fangs. And the interesting thing about the fangs is they have a really um, mild venom. It's, it's not like a, a snake venom that can make you really sick, but it just causes a lot of really um, local irritation. So the third most common injury that we see in tourists in Australia um, is actually from drop bear attack. So, here we go. I'm getting something to cover my eyes as well. So James Cook, one of the early explorers um, who first came to Australia, he actually um, coined the term. So um, he was there with Joseph Banks. And what they found was that these, these things kept dropping out of the trees and attacking them. And they thought they looked like little bears. So they were just like, we'll call it a drop bear. And so the names <laughs> stuck. Uh, but technically, um, it's actually just a subspecies of the koala. It looks visually, it looks very like a yeah, koala. Yeah, like a like a um, like a, a well, a wilder version. Yeah. So if you look at, I won't I won't come too close, but I'm just I'm just going to point. So the difference between this and a normal koala, firstly, you're going to see the size. Then, if you can see, you see he's got those black hairs that are almost like bristles. They actually come out a lot further from the fur. So they're really, really like coarse. Okay. Right, keep your hands down nice and low. Okay. All right, just gonna flat hand. Okay. Oh, he's fucking yours now. Okay. Yeah, just okay. no, no fast Okay. Yeah. Nice and steady with the, the yeah. bear. Yeah. 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 Um, keep them calm. Yep. Everybody and looks so very, very worried little... about this. I'm yeah. trying not to be worried because I'm been told that he can sense if I'm worried. Yeah. We've been told that this is quite a dangerous bear that's been known to attack people. It's called a drop bear because they drop out of the tree to attack people. Just been handed it and had to put on all of this protection gear because of what it might do to me. I'm not quite sure what it's doing right now. Shit, shit. Oh, it's looking at the, what? Okay. No, right. I thought he was going to get you. Right, I insurance might not right, cover this. Okay. Do you want to take you it off? Shit, shit, shit. I'm really not. Okay. I, I'm going to get the dart down. Just don't move. Don't move. No, okay. Notice I have an extra thumb okay. on each hand okay. compared to the koala. No, take it off. Take please, it off. Please take it off. Take it off me. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Good work, Sam. Thanks, yeah. mate. That was great. There we go. You're kidding me! <laughs> You're kidding me! <laughs> You look great. <laughs> 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 Fucking Aussies. <laughs> oh my god, I like totally brought this. Totally bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. Oh my god. I'm like, it doesn't feel like it's doing anything. And then your face was just like, oh no, it's doing it. It's doing it. I'm like, don't walk. Don't walk. <laughs> heavily sedated due to the pain from their burns and most of them have at least one or all of their feet and hands wrapped in bandages. These are the prized koalas of Kangaroo Island, the only disease-free population in the world. But the local wildlife park has been transformed into a veterinary hospital, providing emergency care to an unprecedented number of the wounded animals. Owner Sam Mitchell says this week's bushfires have had a devastating effect. It would have been well into over half of the koalas before last night. Um, I'm not sure exactly how large the, the scale is now, but it could be two-thirds, could be more. Uh, there's no, no real number yet, but I know, you know we're getting a lot of rescues in, but again, to every, every animal that we find alive out there, we, we're seeing one or two hundred dead. For the first time, Australia has drafted in the army to help with its fire crisis. 
and that includes a vet to help treat these joey koalas. They're looking to escape and looking to find shelter and they've got no choice but to crawl across um, often uh, burning areas of the ground. So we're seeing these, these really awful burns on their feet and from breathing in the really hot gases and the smoke. Um, some will have burns to their nose, some will have burns to their mouth and their lips. Um, and when they do have those injuries to their mouth, they, they find it really difficult to eat. The fires here were sparked by lightning and their ferocity fueled by temperatures in their 40s. More than half of the island has been burned and much of its unique habitat destroyed. Every day more koalas are being brought here by local rescue teams and volunteers. And following last night's fires, the teams here are bracing themselves for another influx in the coming days. The problem is, now most of their natural habitat on the island has been completely destroyed. Australia's cherished koala has come to symbolise the merciless nature of this bushfire crisis. Debbie Edward, ITV News, Kangaroo Island, South Australia. For 2012, and to compare with some other crimes, there, there, there was a 92% conviction rate for corrupt government officials. There was a 98.3% conviction rate for violations against the court or state official. There was a 100% conviction rate for violations against religion. There was a 97.4% conviction rate for murder. In fact, Thailand's Office of the Attorney General must be one of the best offices in the world because if you look at the end, if it gets to court, there is overall a 99.2% conviction rate. It's very efficient. Australia has many dangerous animals, right? Hell yeah. Crocodiles, snakes, spiders, koalas. Well, koalas aren't usually considered to be one of them, are they? Well, that is unless you ask this UK journalist who was told she was about to hold a drop oh. bear, which is the extremely dangerous cousin of a koala. Take a look. So I'm a bit worried about why I need this level of protection. Yeah. We've been told that this is quite a dangerous bear that's been known to attack people. It's called a drop bear because they drop out of the tree to attack people. Okay. Right, keep your hands down nice and low. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna flat in. Okay. Oh, he's fucking yours now. 
Okay. Yeah. Just okay. Nice, nice fast. Okay. Yeah. Nice and steady with the the yeah. bear. Yeah. I know um, my Keep them calm. Yep. Yeah. Everybody like looks very very worried little... about this. I'm yeah. trying not to be worried because I've been told that he can sense if I'm worried. I'm really not. Okay. I, I'm gonna get the dark down. Just don't move. Don't go. No. Okay. Notice I have an extra thumb okay. on each okay. compared to the koala. No, I'll take it off. I'll take it off. I'll take it off. Take it off me. Yeah. Go on. Yep. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Good work, Sam. Thanks, yeah. mate. That's great. Here we go. You're kidding me! <laughs> You're kidding me! <laughs> Did you look great? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Debbie Edward is lucky to be alive. Yeah. Um, she's the brave journalist and she joins us now. Um, <laughs> Debbie, Debbie, what a sport you are. Yeah, yeah. And listening, even listening back to it there, I'm thinking, why didn't you twig earlier, for goodness sake? What a terrifying experience for you, though. Just, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, I don't know. There were several points looking back, obviously, where I thought, that's maybe not quite right, but you know, <laughs> um, you know, these guys were like, you should really try this. It's one thing we only do for our special visitors, and you know, put on all this gear, and and it was at the point where where Garnet said, right, I'm going to get the dark gun. I thought, oh, oh, <laughs> should I not just drop <laughs> drop there? <laughs> like, yeah. So it yeah, wasn't a sign and, that yeah. you were being stitched. It was, it was, uh, Sorry. It wasn't a sign you were being stitched up when you're the only one in protective gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. When Sam, I just that was the other bit where Sam brought brought the bear out, and I'm obviously see the bear for the first time, and I'm thinking it's very like a koala bear, but yes. it's a bit bigger. <laughs> and then he, but he's standing. He's obviously doing this. And I'm thinking, well, Sam obviously deals with this bear every day, so he's obviously more comfortable holding <laughs> him without the gear. Uh, yeah, yeah, what a fool. <laughs> it was great fun, really great fun. Uh, but they, they got such a laugh. And, you know, that was the first time we really saw Sam laughing that day. He'd been up all night battling fires, trying yeah. to keep the park safe, trying to keep the animals safe. And he was absolutely exhausted. And it was just great to be able to see him smile and, and have a joke and just forget about that kind of all of the hardships. For, for just a few minutes and, and, and have a laugh. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, it's really important. Uh, you've got to have a laugh during these times, don't you? Had you researched anything about drop bears um, before uh, this time? I mean, it's pretty... Uh, Googling things can be... Can I think be... that's pretty obvious yeah. that I knew nothing <laughs> about drop bears. Yeah. <laughs> because the first line comes up yeah. is a hoax. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I have... when, um, when yeah. Garnet, the... the is saying, you know, you can see on his ears he's got these specific, you know, dark course, and I'm yeah. looking at the bear <laughs> thinking, I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing that, but, you know. Well, you... And, and obviously I've just watched it back, and you should see the bears looking around going, what is this yeah. idiot doing? So, yeah, those yeah. little koalas, they get, they get very anyway, stoned, no, don't they, on the they're... eucalyptus leaves, and they're, they're fearsome things. I mean, I did, I did Google this, um, this the, the drop bear earlier today, too, uh, and th okay. these are some of the th these are some of the pictures that you find on the interweb um, of these fierce and drop bears. I mean, I mean, and, th and just one final one. I mean, that is. <laughs> oh, <I'm soaking>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. I mean, it's an awful situation. You're lucky you didn't Google those before you went on. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I have to say that the guys, the guys there at the park are, are absolutely amazing, and yeah. I just really need to to shout out to them this morning and and just um, say that my heart is going out to them at this time as well. They're just oh. going through something really awful. A lot of Australia is as well, but um, mm. but yeah, I just hope this has brought some light into them at, at this time. Sure has. Oh, beautifully said, and thank good you so you, much Debbie. for being a great sport yeah. and, and for doing such a good job covering <laughs> the bushfires, which of course is being shown back home in the mm. UK. We appreciate. It.